Hi, I'm Doug Rizzio. I'm here at Alpha Art Gallery with photographer Vanessa Rome with you. How's it going, Vanessa? Hi, Doug. Um, Vanessa is a photographer who is displaying her work in our 2019 New Brunswick Art Salon Photography Exhibition. I was modeling uh, in California and I you know, would always watch people photographing me and I always wondered what it was like to be on the opposite side of the camera. I was going to school for botany and um, I was constantly exposed to photographs of plants um, and I wanted to start photographing plants. Some of the most interesting places I visited are the Painted Desert uh, in Arizona. Um, it was really inspiring there. Um, Taos, New Mexico, and uh, I lived in Pennsylvania for quite a few years, and I was really inspired by the forests there. I've always been interested in books about the arcane and uh, the occult, and I took pieces of all of them and put them into my work. Um, a lot of books on symbolism as well. So I've noticed that we have a lot of photos from you on this wall. Um, I'd like to talk about each of them, if you don't mind, starting with this one here. Um, this one is called The Wish Tree, and pretty much uh, at the beginning of the Vernal Equinox, um, a group of artists and I uh, hiked to this particular elder apple tree um, because of its unique shape. Um, and the tilt that it is on the ground, it gave it kind of an eerie look, um, just like unnatural nature. Um, and, you know, I was inspired by this tree and was inspired by the idea of the wish tree, uh, which is prevalent in other cultures around the world, um, having a special tree to go up to and commemorate. Um, this is called Space Angel. And this is a photograph that is a light experiment. Um, it was taken in an art and claw uh, in Pennsylvania. The arch that is around me is, um, it's called the Millennial Folk Arch. And pretty much what we did was uh, for an entire day just took different pictures at different angles of the sun in the sky how the clouds were during the day and then as the light came down uh, to try to get the right shot or just to see what different shots looked like in the, exper in the experiment. Can you tell me about each one of the photos individually and what they mean as a set? Um, all of the photographs in that series have to do with uh, the transition of the seasons. Um, I started out with fall uh, going up and just kind of feeling uh, what I felt really symbolized uh, fall, like an embody a physical embodiment of it. Um, and for that, um, I just kind of kneeled in reverence um, and in meditation, and thus the name meditation for autumn, um, because it is a time to kind of meditate and get ready for the stillness of winter, which is the next picture. Uh, and this you can see uh, a figure standing like face forward in the cold and brutality of winter uh, preparing for well to be alive again in spring which alive is spring uh, well that's what I titled it and um, in that picture um, the lighting on it is actually completely different. I wanted it to be like uh, the earth was still a little dark, but uh, the figure in it is alive, um, the action with the arms raised. Um, and then the last one is called The Bow, and pretty much uh, it's like the last dance of summer, the bow at the end of the last dance of summer. Now my last question for you. Are there any messages that your works contain or any message that you want to impart upon the viewer of your work? Um, well, I hope that whenever, is, whenever someone is looking at any of my work that they feel a closer connection and appreciation for the nature that is around them. 
So that was photographer Vanessa Rowan Whitfield. We're here at Alpha Art Gallery. If you'd like to view more of Vanessa's work, you can visit our website at alphaart.org. Thanks, Vanessa. Thank you, Doug. Thank you.